Hello and welcome everyone in another episode for the Stone Shard. Uh, today I'm not gonna do the Stormenster, but we are gonna go over the Stone Shard changes and patch that is coming today on 18th of the November. Uh, today is the day of the patch and the day before, as you can see, on the 17th they released this big uh, patch notes. It's quite long. Uh, after this, I'm gonna do the uh, the Slormancer videos to finish the story there and do some stuff over there. And after we are finished with the Slormancer bit, then we are gonna go back to the Stone Shard and experience everything fresh because there is a lot of changes and they are meaningful changes. So let's hop straight into it. Uh, so that is the patch, uh, 18th of the November. Okay, so let's go over the plans and what this patch entails and what will be coming in the upcoming updates and the roadmap for later on. So as you can see the global map and the rumor system, uh, the map will be replaced because now it's 17, 17 times 18 map, which is the old map, and it will be replaced by 40, uh, 40 times 40. So it will be much, much bigger and there will be the new menu for navigation. Here you can see how it will look like. Uh, there will be like numerous sport points of interest and some unique locations. Uh, you can find those new items by the new rumor system, which uh, sometimes the NPCs will tell you some stuff like the points but sometimes they are more valuable than the other times so it will be interesting to explore here you can see there's like a dialogue and everything uh, by the way I will put this into the video description down below so you can check it out yourself if you are interested in the patch notes by reading them yourself so yeah the rumor system and the later on they are trying to put paper maps or reintroduce paper maps into the game at the later date uh, so we can look for those points of interest as well and the hidden stashes and such. Uh, the city, the Brim, it will be first major city so there will be probably more later down the line with the coming updates or big coming updates I guess. And there will be composed of four districts each having its specific vibe as you can see there's like a docks, this looks like kind of like church type of thing. So yeah, we will see, we will see. Uh, the big thing now is the saving on the exit, so before you had to go to the, uh, like, you couldn't quit anytime you wanted, every time you had to go to the inn and sleep to get your save, but now the game will save uh, when you exit from the game. Of course, the character deaths and stuff, such, it will be uh, made properly. And on top of that, the new system will preserve the information. So if you like in the middle of dungeon and you're like half the way and you quit the game, you get the save. And then when you go back, all the fog of war, the dungeon, the variables of including the states of the tiles and such, everything will be updated to the, like how it was. So you don't need to like re-explore the whole location. So that's very, very good thing. Uh, here you can see new fauna, there will be a bunch of new monsters and new types of like amps. As you can see the death stingers, the spiders and the crows I think they are, I don't know the exact name. And <laughs> here you will be able to hunt birds which is interesting. Uh, also they are introducing new items such as the throwable bombs as the fire acid and the one that unleashes the death stingers like the, the swarm. Uh, by the way, they mentioned this in the previous patch notes, or maybe the ones before. So, I mean, you can check. I think I have video for that as well, so you can check it out. Uh, after, they also introduce the new dishes into the game. Here's like, what, uh, 8, 9, 10, 10 dishes. Seems interesting. Uh, also, the new type, new loot type, the artifacts. As you can see, and there will be like incredibly valuable relics and they will have unique properties and such and they will be like in hidden locations and I guess heavily guarded as well. So we will see what kind of, I guess, the character customization they will provide. 
Uh, of course, the big thing about this patch is also changes to combat and like leveling and such. And they are changing the way how the block and dodge chains are like calculated and such. So those will be interesting for the character customizations. And after that, there is like the improved leveling for the trainers and uh, the leveling basically about the attribute system. They also mentioned this in the previous patch note somewhere. Uh, you will be getting less attribute points, but we, they will be more powerful. Then they revamp the, uh, the ability trees that they don't start from one point, and, but they will have multiple starting points so you can kind of like choose more. So it will provide more character customization basically. Uh, they introduced some new achievements. I believe they are to do Steam. There are 40 Steam achievements. So it will be, I guess, nice for people for the achievement hunting as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then what's next? Uh, here they are planning to, during the December and the January, they plan to polish the existing content and add some new stuff. So I think there will be like some maybe small and minor changes during that time and they want to like um, improve the new town the brain and do like the insides of the buildings and add new houses and such then into february you can expect like small surprises on the second anniversary so that will be probably fun after that after this whole patch or the update will kind of like go away and the next patch that will be coming will be called Rags of the Riches or Rags to Riches update and it will introduce like, like I guess some things to the map and the new ability trees to the game one with armor and one with magic school so that will be shown I guess down the line and then after that which is I guess few months later or maybe half a year later there will be wizards and as you can know from the name, it will be dedicated to magic. So I'm really hyped for that. Uh, there will be like new schools of magic, vans, magic mastery, and new systems and such. So playing a mage won't be probably as easy later on. Here, uh, there is like a what roadmap for like whole time until the wizards fade patch so here you can see you can like pause the video and look it or you can look it by yourself from the link in the description so here in the 2021 summary so we got all this stuff basically now in this patch and then the next one here the coming next rag to riches there will be new biome the caravan travels rework, re reworked economy new magic tree and the uh, uh, new skill tree for armor, improved contract system, and lock picking mechanics. Oh, well, that sounds really interesting. And probably there will be like a lot and lot of small changes as well. So that's really cool. And then after there is like a sneak peek, I guess, to the Wizard's Fate patch. There will be the new magic tree, new weapon type, uh, new skill trees for wands and the magic mastery traits, melodies, fatigue. Uh, enchantment system reward and physique reward so there is a lot and then there is like some other stuff with high medium and low priority so you can check them out here and also the important mention here uh, they will no longer be giving the approximate release dates which is kind of bummer but it's understandable and they uh, instead of that they will always release uh, I guess the patch notes or, or the patch or the update and stuff roughly one month before the patch is released so they want to have everything fleshed out and ready and final stages of the development and testing so yeah that's that, that covers it so we will see the next so we can expect stuff like that like when they introduce or show us some update for like the uh, rag to riches so maybe from that time it will be like one month after that the patch will come stuff like that so i mean it's okay there is a lot to read through 
so today is the patch. Enjoy the patch, and we will go back to the Sun Shard later on after we finish a little bit from the Slower Minister because there was update recently as well. So yeah, so it, I will link it into descriptions. You can read, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.